Hi students! Welcome back again to another episode of Learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang point estimator for the population proportion. Let's start with the question, what is a population proportion? A population proportion is a fraction of the population that has a certain characteristic. For example, in a public hospital, 3,152 out of 10,150 patients are outpatient. What is the proportion of the patients who are outpatient? So the population proportion is equal to x over n, wherein x is the favorable response or number of individuals in the population and n is the population size. So we have the number of outpatients which is 3,152 over 10,150 is approximately equal to 0 0.3105 or 31.05%. So para makuha natin yung patients na hindi naman outpatient or naroon sa loob ng hospital, kailangan natin i-minus itong 31.05% sa 100%. So, so yun na yung complement ng population proportion. In the real world, oftentimes, we do not know facts about a population. Siyempre, dahil sa may times na napakalaki talaga ng population, hindi natin makukuha yung population proportion talaga. For example, what is the population proportion of households in Rizal province who have wired internet connection? Siyempre, malaking province ang Rizal, so hindi tayo magsasagawa ng survey at kukunin ang a response ng bawat household. So, ano ang gagawin natin para makuha yung population proportion? So, kailangan natin itong i-estimate using the point estimate of the population proportion. Now, what is the point estimate of the population proportion? So, the point estimate of the population proportion P is the sample proportion denoted by P hat read as P hat. Okay? The sample proportion is given by the formula P hat is equal to x over n. So, parang katulad din siya ng population proportion kanina. Pero dahil sample proportion tayo, syempre yung x natin is mas maliit at saka yung n natin is mas maliit. So, wherein x is the favorable response or number of individuals in the sample, kanina ay sa population, and n is the sample size. So, kanina is population size. So, the complement of the sample proportion is given by the formula Q hat is equal to 1 minus P hat. So, minus lang natin itong sample proportion dito sa 1. Let's have an example. In a survey of 200 employees, 120 of them are married. Estimate the population proportion of the employees who are married. So, the point estimate of the population proportion is the sample proportion given by x over n, wherein x here is 120 kasi ang tinatanong dito ay married. So, 120 ang married over total which is 200, the sample size is equal to 0 0.6 or 60%. Example number 2. 400 students were surveyed and found out that 180 of them have parents that are college graduate. What is the estimate of the population proportion of students whose parents are not college graduate? So here we have x is equal to 400 minus 180 is equal to 220. So bakit na i-minus natin yung 180 sa 400? Dahil itong 180 ay yung parents na college graduate. Since ang tinatanong na population proportion dito ay yung parents na hindi college graduate, so i-minus talaga natin yung 180 sa 400. So 220 ang ating uh, parents na hindi college graduate. So, the, the sample proportion here is equal to x over n. So, 220 over 400 is equal to 0 0.55 or 55%. So, this is the point estimate of the population proportion. Next, number 3. In a survey of 130 households, 30 of them have wired internet connection. Estimate the population proportion of the households who have wired internet connection and its complement. So we have the sample proportion is equal to x over n, so is equal to 80. Ito yung may 
uh, wired internet connection kasi ito yung tinatanong is households who have wired internet connection so 80 over 130 is, is approximately equal to 0 0.615 or 61.5 percent so the complement here is q hat is equal to 1 minus p hat is equal to 1 minus 0 0.615 is equal to 0 0.385 or 38.5 percent so dapat meron itong percent Next, example number four. In a poll of 300 voters, 120 of them favors candidate A. Estimate the proportion of voters who are not in favor of candidate A. So, ang tinatanong dito is uh, not in favor of candidate A. So, kailangan natin i-minus yung 190 sa 300. So, x is equal to 300 minus 190 is equal to 110. So, the sample proportion is equal to x over n is equal to 110. Ito yon Over 300 is approximately equal to 0 0.367 or 36.7%. So, kung ipapakuha sa atin yung complement, we have q hat is equal to 1 minus p hat is equal to 1 minus 0 0.367 or 0. is equal to 0. 0.633 or 63.3%. So that's it for today's lesson. I hope you learn a lot. Goodbye!